hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking plasma spraying is a process used for coating a material surface with a protective layer to prevent the material from degradation in a plasma spraying process the protective layer in a powder form is injected into a plasma jet the powder is then heated to molten droplets and propelled onto the material surface once, the de once deposited on the material surface, the molten droplets solidify and form a layer of protective coating. Consider a plasma spraying process using alumina powder that is injected into plasma jet at T infinity 15,000 degrees Celsius and H 10,000. The alumina, pow alumina powder is made of particles that are spherical in shape with an average diameter of 60 micrometer and melting point at, point at uh, 2300 degrees Celsius. Determine the amount of time it would take for the particles with an initial temperature of 20 degrees Celsius to reach their melting point from the moment they are injected into the plasma jet. Right? So here they are asking for the time. Now let's see how we can find it. To find that we're not, we can use Lump system analysis equation, but in order to use lump system analysis equation, we have to have a biot number that is less than 0 0.1, right? So let's see whether we get biot number less than 0 0.1 for this problem. So let's go ahead and calculate it. To calculate biot number, we use this equation bi is equal to h lc over k, right? So h is heat transfer coefficient that's provided right here. And then we have K thermal conductivity that is 30 and uh, we have to find LC. To find LC we always use volume over surface area, right? So here this is a spherical shape they have mentioned right here. So for a spherical shape volume is 5d cube by 6, right? 5d cube by 6 and area is going to be 5d square and the ratio is going to be if you solve this one, that's going to be d by 6. You can even, without uh, solving this one, you can directly put it because for a spherical shape, it's always going to be d by 6. For a cylindrical shape, it will be always d by 4. So this is the general ratio we can remember. And the main question is time. Now here we are trying to find whether this biode is less than 0 0.1. Then only we can use lump system analysis equation. Now since we have LC, we can find out biot number. So we have to solve LC first. LC is a diameter over 6. Diameter is provided that is 60 micrometer. So 60 micrometer divided by 6, that's going to give us 10 micrometer. Now we can plug, plug this one in this equation to find that biot number. Now H is heat transfer coefficient, that's 10,000 times this LC that is 10 times 10 to the power of minus 6 meter because micro is 10 to the power of minus 6 meter and then thermal conductivity is 30 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 0 0.0033 this is the value we get now this value is less than 0 0.1 right so since this value is less than 0 0.1 we can do lump system analysis for this one. So we always have to have zero point, less than 0 0.1 or near to 0 0.1, right? In order to do, do lump system analysis equation. Now lump system analysis equation is this one. E power minus Bt is equal to T temperature at time minus ambient temperature over initial temperature minus ambient temperature. So this is the lump system analysis equation. Now let's see whether we have all the information to apply this equation. So we are trying to find this time right here. So we need, so we have temperature as time that is this one 2300. So we have this information ambient temperature that is T infinity that's provided right here. So we have these two and initial temperature they have given that is 20 degrees Celsius. So we have this one. We have to find out B. B is basically, and B is a reciprocal of time constant. 1 over B is time constant. 
B is reciprocal of time constraint. To find B, we use this equation that is B is equal to HAS over rho CP V, right? And you can see that this value AS over V is reciprocal of this one. Here we have for characteristic length we have V over AS but here we have AS over V. So this is equal to 1 over LC. So we can rewrite this equation as H over rho CP times LC, right? So this is our new equation. Now let's go ahead and plug the values. So first we have maybe choose a different color. So first we have H that is heat transfer coefficient 10,000 over rho that is density. Density is provided right here 3970. 970 then we have CP that is specific heat that is 800 and characteristic length that is that we found out that one right here that is 10 times 10 to the power of minus 6 meter and if you calculate this value you should get 314.86 second minus 1 now we have this information too now we can go ahead and plug the values and find solve for t but before i plug the values let's uh, rearrange this equation to find those t right so here we can what we can do is we can take ground both side to get rid of this e if i take ground both side this is going to be minus bt is equal to ground t t minus t infinity over t i minus t infinity and then uh, we only need t right here so we can bring the negative b to the other side that's going to be minus 1 over b long t t minus t infinity over t i minus t infinity now let's go ahead and plug the values so let's uh yeah let's write this one right here t is equal to minus 1 over b value we calculated that one right here 314.86 long of tt tt is this one 2300 so 2300 minus ampm temperature that is 15000 over initial temperature that is 20 degrees celsius minus again ambient temperature that is 15000 and if you plug these values in calculator, you should get T is equivalent to 5.24 times 10 to the power of minus 4 second. So this is 5 right here. Right? So this is going to be our final answer. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.